Hello again, everybody. Steve from Gigasheet here, and we have some JSON to munge. Specifically, we have this file, this LinkedIn merge.json file. Um, you can see here that this file is large and complex and unfriendly to work with if you're not a programmer. I can scroll all the way down, and I see that it's about 6.18 million rows, and each one of those rows is its own JSON object. So when I look at it, I see that it's an object that has a first name, a last name, an email address, a company, previous titles held. These previous titles held takes the form of a list inside of it, a city, a state, an industry, um, a SKU purchased, a year born, and again, another um, field with a list as the value of self-reported interests and a couple different values there. So this is a big, complex data set. And if you look on the internet as to how to work with this, you'll end up in Python forums. You'll see, you know, how do we deal with these giant JSON files? And it tells you either to use Python and use JSON lines or to put it into a database like SQLite, SQLite database, please. And I am here to tell you that I have neither the time nor the energy to put this into a SQLite database. I just want this to be fast. Here's the request. The request that we got was first remove the duplicate names from this. We saw that there's a first name and last name. Filter down to all the people either in Colorado or people who've expressed interest in spreadsheets. So in that self-reported interest, um, people who have said that they're interested in spreadsheets. We're interested in spreadsheets. We appreciate that. And then take that JSON and return a CSV with the following format, first name, last name, email, company, SKU purchased. Should be pretty simple, have no interest in doing any sort of database administration to do this. So instead we're gonna do it in Gigasheet. So I have loaded the file into Gigasheet, this LinkedIn merge.json, and we can open it. And from here, it's a matter of munging because Gigasheet has automatically identified those JSON fields and put them into columns for me. I can use the panel on the side to arrange these in a way that makes sense. So I can drag first name to the top and then last name, you know, and so on. I know that I don't need these previous titles held at all as I scroll right to left. So I could just, un I could just hide each one of these. And suddenly I'm working with this data set in a much easier way. You'll see it's got those 6.18 million rows. And the first thing I'm gonna do um, as from this um, request is remove the duplicate names. Easy enough to go to data cleanup, delete duplicates, where the combination of first name and last name are the same. We will remove the duplicate values. We found 15,000 or so, 16, just nearly 16,000 duplicate values, and this many are going to remain. I'm going to proceed. And we're down to 6,167,000 and so rows. The duplicate values have been removed. The next step was to filter down to either people in Colorado or people interested in spreadsheets. That's simple enough with a filter. So where the state equals Colorado. And then I'm going to say where any column contains the word spreadsheet. And that'll pick it up across any of those um, lists. I'm going to press apply. I realize that Oh, this brought back 12 because I actually, in my filter, did an and, and the requirements are an or. So I need to change that to or. And I'm down to 155,000 now. 155,000 rows that are either interested in spreadsheets or are from the state of Colorado. Now it's just a matter of getting this data in a format. For export. Again, first name, last name, email, company, SKU purchased. 
So that's as simple as just dragging these up and hiding the ones I don't need. Email company SKU purchased, so don't need industry. I'm going to keep SKU purchased. I'm going to get rid of all of these. And suddenly, I am down to a very manageable data set. Exports are now free in Gigasheet, so it's a matter of just exporting. I'm going to just keep that as the file name, press save, and my CSV is going to be in my library. Here's my um, export in my library. I can download it, and I can open. It downloads as a zip, and suddenly here is my source file, and in just a couple minutes, I was able to produce my CSV, first name, last name, email, company, SKU purchased, as requested, first name, last name, email, company, SKU purchased, from the original file that had 6 million rows down to the filtered data set that had as 155,000 rows. Gigasheet proves to be a very simple way to take one kind of data and produce an export to use in another tool down the line. So really quickly, load, filter, deduplicate, transform into how you want the data to look and go about your day. No SQL administration required. Hope this was helpful. Try out the new exports in Gigasheet. You can sign up for free at gigasheet.com.